Hey guys, so if you didn't know, I've made a couple of Mario Kart Wii vehicle modding videos on the channel. And one of the things I thought about a little bit is making a tutorial on how to make your own vehicle mods. I've decided to finally make this video when I got this comment. Anyway, don't forget to smash the like button and maybe consider subscribing. Let's get into the video. Alright, hey guys, this is going to be the window section of the tutorial. So, let's get started. Alright, so, uh, first thing first. You need to get the game. Uh, you can. You, I'd recommend, you know, just a ROM like this. And you'll notice that this is um in this format, the WBFS. And there's a, and we're going to convert that to an ISO later. So for now, I already have this ROM. So I just want to show you that I already have this ROM. It's already an ISO. All right, you get the point. So then, uh, okay. So all I have to do is click this download button and just download it. Next is Dolphin Emulator. Get the latest development version. Uh, you know, you gotta have a way to play the game as well. So let's go ahead and install this, um, this development version right here. Alright, so now that it's installed, uh, yeah, all you have to do is unzip it. So extract. And then just run it. And there you go, you have it set up. And I already have the, I already have um, Dolphin, so it's got, already got my settings and everything because of the way the f the the files work. Okay, so only thing you want to do is go to config, go to paths, click add, and add a game folder so that you can have like you can just put games in the folder and it automatically show up. All right, so the next thing you want to download is Weems Tools ISO to be exact. So we're going to get the WIT or WIT tools, and we're going to want to get the one for Windows. So we're going to click this one. All right, once that's installed, then we all have to do is unzip it. And then click Windows, Windows install.exe and you'll have it installed. Now to check to make sure it installed correctly, open admin command prompt and just type in WIT. And if this pops up, you did it right. Now you're going to do the same thing for this tool. So basically just do the same thing you did with, with the ISO tool with this tool. You're gonna want the WSZST Weems SZS tool. So go ahead and get that as well. Final thing you'll need is a way to edit the stats in an easy way. So get this cartparm.bin editor. Uh, click this link. It'll install. And then you can use it. Alright. Okay, so before we get started with the actual like tool using the tools and stuff, what I want to do is I want to show you how to convert um, the, the dot wbfs file into an iso if you if you wish to do so so open up admin command prompt right and then we're going to switch change directories into this directory the directory that it's in and then we're going to do wit copy the iso or wb wbfs and we want to do two dashes a destination which basically just means uh like where it is and if you don't say like a file path it'll just whatever you name it it'll do there it, it'll make sense and so and then you do mario kart dot wf wbfs for example so and then it'll convert it like that that's basically how you convert all right now it's time to show you what to do with these tools so what I did was I put Mario Kart in a separate folder, just like by itself. And then we want to open admin command prompt. So open admin command prompt. God, I can't speak. All right. Type in CD this. Basically, it changes the directory towards this. And then type in WIT. We're going to use the ISO tool. And we're going to click, we type extract Mario. And then the name of it. So, you, so it's WIT extract, the name of it. And then, and then after that, you want to put two two dashes, D S D E S T for destination, and then name it, name it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna name it this, and it'll make that, it'll extract it to that. All right, once that's done, all you want to do is you want to go into files. So you want to go inside the folder files, race, and then. And then here's the file that you need. Go ahead and take this fo file out and put it in another folder by itself. And, you know, you might want to separate your actual ROM from this as well. So I would go ahead and just put this in here. 
All right. So that's what I would do. And then now what you need to do is you need to open command prompt again. I closed it from earlier. And then what you want to do is you want to, oh, I need CD first, my bad. All right, CD. And then you want to use the other tool that we used. So you type in WSZST extract, same deal with this. And then I just like to do it with nothing because it just makes a easy folder. And now we are ready. So now open your cart parm .bin editor. And this is where the fun start. This is where the fun part is. You click open and you find and you find your folder. I mean your file. And then you can just start editing the stats. So say we want to we want to make the flame water faster. We could make this 83.023 or something like that. So now it's slightly faster. So that's how that's how this that's basically how this works. And I will go over more about these values uh, in a later section. So so we'll go over like what values are good and stuff like that. All right. So yeah. All right. So after you're done editing, so say you're done editing, you click save. And then you just do the reverse. You have to reverse everything. So delete this old version of the common file. And we're going to do WZ, WSZST. That's how you say it. And then we're going to create a new... And this basically creates a new archive. And then we just put that and it'll make a new version of that, of that file. Like this. Now we plug this back into are right here our race folder go back into race and then paste it in now we have to make a new a new iso so now what we do is we go to, is we change directories and we're going to open this again and we're going to change directories to where it's located and then we're going to do wit copy and basically what this does is we're copying we're copying this folder into an ISO. And so, and then we do the name of the folder. And then we do the destination thing again. And we say Mario Kart ISO modded or something. I don't know. That's just what I'm going to put. So it'll do that. All right, it just finished. And now, and now we test it. We test the ISO. Oh, I forgot to add the ISO. Oh, my bad. But yeah, make sure you add the file extension. That's pretty important. There we go. All right, hopefully this will still work, even though I didn't do that. But I'm pretty sure it will. So now what we do is we go to our Dolphin folder, and we're going to put this new ROM in there. And we're going to test it and see if it works. All right, let's open Dolphin. Oh, there's an update. Let's update that real quick. There's always updates for this um, for Dolphin, so I'm not surprised that it's in the middle of this tutorial. Alright, Dolphin is updated, and now we test it. Basically, all we're testing is going into a race and seeing if the Flame Enter will crash the game or not. And it shouldn't crash the game if we did this right. And the ISO is working, so I think it was okay that we left it out, hopefully, for now. Uh, please excuse the lag. I have a pretty bad computer, but you know, this is this is still gonna get the point across All right, so let's go into time trials and then let's pick Funky Kong and the flame runner All right, I think it's working and now our flame runner is slightly faster, but we probably won't be able to tell because I I didn't make it that much faster. But yeah, it works All right, so if you made it this far, you've just successfully made your mod and now, you can either release it with the world, do whatever with it. It's just, it, these kind of ROMs took a lot of space, sadly. And that's why, that's the only thing that sucks about this. Alright, so I did say I was going to show you, like, what stats to use and stuff. So, here's how I figured it out. So, down here, on this page, and I'll have linked in the description, is a table. And this table displays all the values that, that these carts and bikes have in, in the file. So, it, this is really convenient, isn't it? That it's all right here. So yeah, basically, 
just it's all right here and so if you want to give it the weight stat of the blue falcon just put it in now another thing that can help is this page right here and i'll also have it linked in the description uh, basically this gives each stat each cart and bike a stat through one through 20 and you click this image and it gives it one through 20 so if you want something with low with the lowest like acceleration in the game you would find it on here you would find something that has one so that's basically how i do it and uh yeah all right thank you so much for watching this video i really enjoyed making this tutorial i really hope this helped you and now you can do what i do in my videos maybe even a little better well all things come to an end so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye guys